want the, the special cleaner right now on, on tap. Nope. You got to run over here. Yeah. Uh, it's the, the Shop port Pro. That's the portable, the portable cleaner right now. Brought in the best. The best you could find close by, anyway. It's, it's uh, regular right hand thread, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Conventional. Why are you stepping back? It's scaring me now. You look like you're gonna fling that wrench at me. <laughs> look like you're experienced in that matter of movement. See? Oh, that one was tight. I'm glad one was tight. Okay. Are they loose? Okay, good. Don't take them off. Just loose. Oh, loose enough. Okay, pull out ship shaft. You get torched and cut a little notch in that sprocket nope, right there. That's this huh? you, get, you can get torched and cut a little hole in that sprocket right there. Come on out. So I have to pull this out now, right? Yeah. Then we'll, shouldn't I unthread it then? Complete. No, okay, okay. Because it's a shaft in there. Okay, okay. Never mind. So, what? Hold on. What? Did you, what, did you touch something? No, you I almost did. You almost touched something? I almost there? did, and I thought about cleaning your hands before you did. What, what are you looking for, a crescent wrench? Yeah. You can take that big knot off of the crescent wrench, is that the problem? I mean... You're going to put a big notch in your sprocket to make room. No, we're going to take a big crescent wrench. So you might have a little interference there with the... The angle? Sprocket. So you can put a big groove right there and lose one tooth, or you can take the sprocket off. Which one do you want to do? Oh, the groove wouldn't even be that bad, actually. It would be maybe like a quarter well, of an inch. It'd be like one tooth missing, yeah. No, I'm going to take it off. Oh, sure. You were hoping I was going to do that, huh? Oh, I see what you're playing there. Like this? You got a bigger one? What do you do with that? I was going to take this off. Well, I got bigger ones in the wall. Right over here. How big do you want? Big enough. Big enough? A pair of vice grips? China logs? I don't want to tear up the nut. Oh, you got you to go take that off of that little wrench there is what the plan is? I think you better do it a different way. Impact? Yeah, maybe a power tool would be an option. You have air? Who tightened that up? Previous one up. Mm -hmm. So it might be loose is what you're saying. That's what I'm assuming. If you put enough gook in there, then you probably doubted his abilities to tighten that up. That's right. Power tools work a lot better. Nope. I need a deeper one. Do you have a custom one for you? Somewhere. Look down there. Next one down. Sorry. Up, up, up. No, down. Yeah. But one of those. This looks too new. That's right, it is. And that looks too old. So I'll put in between. This one? Or this one? I don't know, you want 6 uh, point or 12 point? I do want 6 point. So you want 6 point? Oh. No, well, we don't have Scooby, Scooby food snacks. no more. We don't have Scooby no more. Oh, man. We have to lose Scooby snacks out of here. No more Scooby snacks. Yep. No more Scooby snacks. He missed out on those. Should have gave them all to him. He didn't come out and shop enough. Ooh, like a glove. Oh, like it was made for and everything. Custom. Welded. Machined. Machined. Imagine nice. that. Got at least two dollars in there. Now you got way more than that in here now. Two ninety five? Nope. Probably like a ten dollar piece right now. Ten dollars. You got ten dollars <laughs> invested in there. Yep, that'll work. Nope. That's the one. Yeah, that'll work. Where's your adapter at? Stuff a rag in a hole. Just pick up the slack. That'll work. Some tape? Nah. I'm gonna use a rag. What are you looking for? Your adapters. Adapters. Oh. No. No. Let's just grab the air impact. Kind of like right in front of you. Uh, you have it hidden with a towel. Well, that was a towel stand there. It's like a game of I Spy. What airline do I have? Can I pull the... No. That's... 
Maybe the one right in front of your feet. I, there's like three of them running along everywhere. I just wanted to make sure I got the right one. Is it close? Does it fit? Does it have air on it? Yes. Good. You know, if you put it in two gears at once, it makes it work a lot easier. Huh? If you put it in two gears at once, it makes it a lot easier. Two gears at once? Mm-hmm. You get a shifter. Put it in two gears. I like how you're so vague with me. Well, you get the shifter right in front of you. You're in neutral right now, remember? <clears throat> Put it in two gears at once. Just pop it in. One of those two. Okay, okay. One. There's low gear. That's another one right there. Now oh, you're in third gear. You're in low and third. What happens now? Ooh, it quits turning. Look at that. <clears throat> Amazing how that works. Now the problem is when it starts vibrating, it'll pop out of gear on you. So oh. now you went out. Now you're in neutral again. Oh, you're in low gear. Low gear doesn't do it. Just keep your fingers away from those gear teeth. Which way are you going? How you tell you left you loose, right? Yeah. That's reverse thread. Now you tell me, huh? Did it get tighter? I hope so. Now it stopped the leak. It doesn't leak now you tighten the nut. Ah. You have to put it actually on the nut. The socket doesn't work if you're not on the nut. What you put on the nut? No, there you go. That's hard to do. Okay. Pull the trigger. There you go. Hit it again. Neutral. Hit it again. Okay, slow down. You're dangerous. Good quality steel. Yeah, those threads get screwed up when you rub them on the shelf like that. What did it do to the threads on your nut? Nothing to have so much gunk that it dampened the... It dampened the, the amount of jarring you did on the <laughs> shaft? <laughs> Look at all that. What did it do to your shaft? You spin on the nut like that. Nothing. No, the shaft is here. I was like that already. Here's those grooves. Those are speed grooves. That's what your seal rubs on. That one groove? That might leak a little bit. Well, if you're in that groove, it might leak. If you're out of the groove, it might mm -hmm. not. I mean, it's an old bike. Of course, it's going to leak. Okay, good. Now we know why. So I can blame you. Oh, does that come off now? Oh, wow. Just laid it in there. Laid it in there. That was lubricant for the tooth. I'll have to clean that later. You know, if you don't put that stuff in your way, it's not in your way. There's a big table behind you waiting for it. And there's a garbage can right by your leg over there. See, it's all hidden, right? We can't get to anything, see? I'm trying to get my feel for the new shop. See, the garbage can goes underneath the vise. That way you don't walk in the vise and hurt your hip. Plus, everything that falls off the vise goes in the garbage, because it doesn't need it, obviously, it's not in the vise. Okay, now what are you going to do? Slide this out. Now, that was really came out easily. That was, I'm sure that didn't leak at all. Well, now we got burrs right here that are not letting it slide through. Oh, you mean somebody didn't put the screw in correctly. Correct. You get a file or something? Maybe. No, I don't want to. Sh should I? Should you what? Here, let me. I want to lay a rag underneath there if I'm going to file. Did you feel that burr? What burr? Right there. What, that one right there? Yeah, that's the one that's not letting it come out. That's the one that's not letting it come out? See? It's hitting down here. You got the burr came out now. Yeah, it's I feel it scraping on there. Scraping. If you know, these bind up, you gotta make sure you free them up. That's definitely just one that's binding up. Yeah, one with the burrs in it. Yeah. I told you. you. Made me force it through. You force it through. It went halfway through. No, what are you looking for? Your rag? Did you lose your rag? Yeah, your rag. Right. That's my rag. Remember, the forks fight you, so and they're stronger than you are. Oh, there's a FedEx guy out there. Are they going to drop you off a new rag now? Hey. Did you order a new rag? No blocking the driveway. He's blocking the driveway. You can't get out now with your car. 
Yeah, no, it's that bird that's not going to let it come out. You sure? Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's you? Oh, he's blocking my driveway. He didn't even come into my door. He went over next door to the restaurant guy. Uh oh. It's a restaurant guy over there. Maybe a problem. Here's a fine file chip. You got to use this? I think so. It's fine and dull, so it doesn't do much. It works in both directions, right? Probably that one works about equal in both ways. It's dull. It won't cause much damage. The chips will be small, that's for sure. That's what you call manual machining. Manual labor. I heard a high spot. Did you hear that high spot? I can hear it. Yeah, I told you. You didn't believe me. Nope. I don't know how you could have got a titty on a part where the titty is supposed to go inside of a groove. It's not like it's hard to do that. Obviously it was. For the previous owner? Someone butchered it. Probably just slapped it together and called it a day. I think they weren't slapping it, they hammered it in there. <laughs> they just then sold it to me? That's right. Oh, would you look at that? Did it come out easier now? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That'd be struggle. Okay, now you can put the, now you can file it correctly. Put some burrs on that shaft there. It's good burr, now. Burr free surface. Mm hmm. It's good now. I'd buy it for a dollar. Yeah. It's going to cost about 25 or 30 these days. Yeah. Mm, lay on the side. It's on the way. Okay, now these come out. But you got to remember which way they go in. So, which way we got to move the fork? Both. Have to come this way. So how do you do that? Some shims in here. Yeah, so we got to move the shim from so, that side. Is there any shims over there to move? Yeah. Okay. So you got to take it all apart. So take it out of the bike. Don't do it on the tranny. You're gonna drop it on the tranny. Pull it out. Oh shit! Look at it. it comes out. Imagine that. Put it on the <laughs> bench. See that bench right here? I don't want to get dirty. <laughs> the bench has seen well before. Now if you lay parts out on the table exactly as they come off, no same rotation, that ain't how it came off. It came off the same way. I know which way it came off. I hope so. There's two shims in there. Good. So we should take them both out? Mm, how thick are they? Maybe like 10 thou each. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm thinking one to get you squared up. And I'll get the mauled out one. One would be more than you need probably. One would be racing, making it more toward second instead of high. So if you want to make it more toward second, you take both shims. You want to make it centered, you just take out one. Yeah. Make sure you put everything back together exactly how it came apart. Except the shim will now be on the other side. Don't forget that shim. Yeah, I know, I see it. Yeah. I laid the first one. Now I'm laying the mauled out one mm. next to the mauled out fucking oh, friggin'. Bad parts against bad parts. Mm -hmm. So when they smash together, they can become two, a negative and a negative. Makes it positive? Exactly. Or it makes it worse. All negative. Make sure the titty goes where the titty goes. There. So and that's made differently on both sides. Uh huh. Follow on one side so it goes over the shaft. So it'll just bottom out and be loose. Okay, you got what you want? Uh huh. Lay it back in there. Pull out the next one. Now sometimes you got to put that in high gear to go in and out. So this one was shifted still to... But there's no shim in there. That means we're going to have to take the thicker shim. 
Which way are you trying to move? It's the left. So it's too close to high? That's what you said. It was the same on, on both. The difference were, were like as far as where they were shifted off. Was it too close to high or too close to third? It was to the left too much. Okay. So it's high, right? So which way do you want to move the fork? A little bit to the right. Toward high. Towards high. So move it toward high. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, you figured it out now? Yeah. I didn't see no light bulb move up your head. <laughs> that light bulb burned out years ago. I could tell. So where are the shims at right now? The shims are all the way on the right hand right. side. Where they need to go? On the left. On the left. Well, one, right? Where's the gonna... fork over to the right? We're going to do the same amount, right? I don't know how far off it is. You were looking at it. I'll do one. Is it way off or just a little off? It's just a little. And there's also 7,000 shims and 15,000 shims. Yeah, or I'll do fives 15. and tens or something. I'm not I'll sure. I'll do a thicker one. Let's play it safe. Play it safe. Put the big one in there. Uh -huh. That sounds, sounds real safe. <laughs> so as long as you don't screw up your rotation and where all those clips pins go, the keys, you're all right. And the locks can be rotated also if you want to make them lock tabs in different locations. And if you want to flatten your lock out because it's all bent to hell, well, it's on the bench and you're able to hammer and flatten it. Oh, you don't have an anvil on that base? Yeah, there's that too. So now we throw the rod back in. Yep. Shaft in on a rod. Shaft. It's a shaft. Do you ever change those out? With a little... You mean the one that doesn't do winding right now on your bike? Yeah. It wouldn't hurt to do something to make it better, but okay. right now we're not doing better, we're doing the shift work alignment. If you make it better, it won't be you got trouble getting in and out. Hmm. Okay, tighten your nuts up. So if they're too loose, they come loose while you're riding. If they're too tight, you strip them out. So tighten them just right. You know the torque on it? Tight. A hooga dooga? It's tight. Factory torque. Tight. Well, this is just kind of seeing if it's, if the shim placement's yep. better, so I don't have to go too crazy tight right now. Well, Until gotta, we say it's good, right? Well, you gotta make sure the shims are all down, all the way down flat. Which means you gotta tighten the piss out of them. Well, you got smarter, or smarter, not harder. Okay, is it tight yet? Yeah, it's it's good. Okay, we'll do the next one. Alright, so we got we them nice and tight now. Yep. Do I have to put these back in when we throw the jig in? Uh, if you want to check your shift fork alignment, you will need all the okay. parts. Cool. Now, if you don't want to check, you don't need all the parts. <laughs> your choice. <laughs> Is that on correctly? Mm. You flipped it over. Why'd you do that? It's supposed to. Oh. Okay. They go in the holes like they're supposed to? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Let me rotate this. Okay. So. It got worse. No, I didn't. Sometimes it does. <laughs> oh. Dang. Just the way the shim's going okay. different. So, there you go. Now we got some. Well, you line all the marks up together. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? It looks, it looks good there. But. It looks good where? Right there, this gap looks good in terms of on that low side. I'm gonna push it the other way. How close is that? Pretty close. It's about to say push it back the other a way. sixteenth. That looks the same. About a sixteenth as well. About the same. Yeah. But if you look at the close number instead of the wide number. But, uh, I mean, it's slightly off. It's maybe about. I'll do it again the other way. Oh no, never mind. 
Be cool. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So now it moves the other. It has to move the other direction. So we don't know how close we are in this one. We're definitely getting closer. So is it closer to the left or the right right now? It's still closer to the the left again. You sure. Well. Yeah. It's the high spot, remember. So which side's closer? This side is still closer. The left side. Just a little bit. So you gotta move some more. Another shim in there. Okay. Let's check the other side. So I'm not sure how you're saying it's closer because you know, we gotta get what the high spot of the gear is at. Yeah. So look at it. Okay. So right in there you got that gap. Mm-hmm. That gap over there. I think that's for. Do you think that's closer than the other one? Than that one right there? Yeah. Right there. You think that's closer? Yeah, because the tip of the screwdriver went in a lot better, mm -hmm. a lot easier. A lot easier than there than right here. Yeah. On, no, a lot easier on this side than on this side. Than this side. <laughs> see the, see this side is. See the blade in there? Yeah. See how far the blade goes down? So far the blade goes down that one. Just a tick more on the side than that side. That's what I'm saying. So, so is that acceptable or should we still shim? It's within spec right now, but if you want to make it shift better in the second gear, you can move it over a little bit further. A little bit further? Okay. But it's still using a five. I mean, still using a ten, maybe use a five thou also. Okay, and let me check the back one. Could we go over ten thou, it's gonna be a big change. Now for the hard one, which is really hard to see. Your three four is very very hard to get in there. They look, they look the same. Uh, no, it doesn't. Still needs to shift a little bit more to the right. Okay, cool. Both a little bit more to the right. See? Okay, I'm moving it right now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move it though. Put it to the top. Okay. Okay, there goes that side. Your gap on your right. Skittles. And the gap mm -hmm. on. I saw the other one. Okay. Yeah, that one needs to shift a little bit more. Mm. So both about the five to seven. Well, this one's pretty close. How far off is that? Um, Quite a bit. And put the fifteen on that. Put the fifteen instead. We'll do the five on the other. So you know, it just reverts. Loosen that first. Maybe we take these out first. Mm, it's optional. They might fall off. If you don't. Did it fall off? Yeah, it did. Oh. Yeah, that's why you take them off first. Loosen the nuts. Yep, loosen your nuts. Alright, we'll be back.